Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of my water wheel project. In this episode, I will be showing you how I assembled the individual wheel sections. There are six of them. So the first thing I did was to bend the flat bucket panels into the curve I had defined in my design. This curve is the curve that the water makes as it falls from the flume. Um, I did this to increase efficiency. For this process I really needed a metal brake, but of course I don't have one, so I made a temporary one. I had been really unsure of what thickness aluminium to use in this design, and all I can say is that I'm really glad I didn't go any thicker. If I had, I wouldn't have been able to bend it in this way. Um, and I honestly don't know how I would have bent it at all, because this stuff is already really strong. Um, it is 1.5mm by the way, and I managed to get a good alloy for not that much more cost-wise. I originally tried shaping them using a press I made out of some scrap plywood, but the aluminium sprung back so much that when I released it, that it almost had no effect. It did turn out to be kind of useful for checking the shape as I went though. Once it all roughly bent into shape, I attached the brackets. So while assembling these sections, I tried a different couple of different assembly methods, but ended up um, settling on this one, which was by far the best and the easiest. I attached the brackets in an alternating pattern either side of the bucket. Uh, in hindsight, this might not be the best idea, as it really forces the bucket to be in the exact curvature, um, which actually just makes it harder for me. It really doesn't need to be perfect. So next I set, attach the brackets to the section sides. Then the section back panel could be added. These back panels need little to no shaping as the curvature is so slight, the pop rivets pull them into shape very easily. I found putting all the rivets into the holes helped make sure everything was aligned before pulling the pop rivets. Finally, I could add the curved buckets and complete the section. For a complete wheel, I needed six sections. Here I'm showing you assembling of two sections and I did the rest off camera. I have to say, I really enjoyed assembling the sections using the pop rivets. It was really nice seeing what I had designed on the computer come together so nicely. It was, it all fitted together well and it happened in the end quite fast. Um, so if you ever want to build something, I can highly recommend getting some sheet metal laser cuts and pop riveting it together. Works really nice. Once the three bucket panels were riveted into the water wheel section, it became a lot more rigid and was a really nice indication of how strong the wheel would be later on. And with that, I'm done. 
as I've already said, I'm really pleased how these sections turned out. Um, they came together so easily and it worked really well. Here's just a little preview of how the sections will go together um, to form the complete wheel. Visitors are really welcome at the workshop, however, they never seem to be that impressed with what I'm doing. And at this point, I'm ready to start assembling the wheel in place, which I will show in the next episode. Thanks for watching.